I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 299, where I'm going to show you how to populate a descriptor from a cell value in another matrix. In episode 298, I showed you how to populate a descriptor from a cell value in kind of the same matrix. But I'm going to show you in this episode how to uh, populate a descriptor really using a select statement. I have here, again, this same model that I was using in 298. But let's say I wanted to populate a uh, descriptor for items here uh, based off of or, or with the attribute that's found here in a different matrix. How can I do this using Quantrix Modeler? I would go here to items. I would select item descriptor, manage descriptors, and I'm going to add a new one. And then I would call this like attribute. Give it a name. Call it attribute one. Why not? And then I would select that I'm going to use a description or I'm going to use an expression and I would write a select statement and it would be select. What do I want to select? Well, I want to select matrix three. And if this pop up wasn't in the way, you would see this a little better. But this matrix down here is called matrix three. I want to select matrix three attribute. And what is my key list? It's matrix three. And I want to say it's item. And I think that's what this name of this column again is. Again, it's hidden behind my manage descriptors. And then I'm going to hit column, col comma. And what is my lookup my value? Well, my lookup value is going to be at matrix two. So I fully qualify this, right? Items. Right there. If I go ahead and I select OK on that, then you can see that indeed uh, my attribute of E, F, and G shows up. And E uh, uh, coincides with item 1, item 2 is F, and item 3 has G as shown here. So again, how, how I did that was simply by going out and writing a select statement and full, fully qualifying uh, the matrices where I was going as well as my lookup value in my matrix. I think if I were to delete this here uh, and simply put at items, it doesn't like that. It says no category named at items in matrix. I mean, it could be a little frustrating. You could say, yes, indeed, I do have something called at items. Why aren't you recognizing it? It's because, well, you also have items over in this matrix as well. So in order to make it work, you just have to qualify it and say it's matrix 2, double colon. I, I suppose you could also do matrix 1 if you wanted. Uh, I think uh, it would be it would yield the same result. We'll actually try it. And yeah, it yields the same result as it should because these are linked categories. Anyway, that's how you do it using a select statement, how you can populate your uh, descriptors based off of, uh, you know, a value within another matrix. You simply use a select or use, use some other funky logic or complex logic uh, that you would wish to use in an, in an expression, and you can make it happen within Quantrix. It's pretty sweet. If you have any questions about descriptors, again, or anything in regards to Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. That's why I stay up till 1130 at night making videos is because I really want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.